Welcome to this new vibrational awakening upgrade because this is what it really is. So yes, this month of November brings us quite a lot of opportunities and transitions that are not necessarily easy. While we are driving, driving literally deeper into the shadows and breaking them and transforming and transmuting and liberating ourselves. We are also accessing on the other side light that we haven't been able to access before. So th this is really a very significant time and I would say it's the turning point. So we're talking here November 10th, which is today. Now we have sunshine again. We had three days of rain and I felt better to talk to you from the sunshine. So yes, we have a portal tomorrow on the 11th, which is always interesting. Portals are really stargates. And as you're possibly aware in the Mayan calendar, we even have gap days, portal days. I did not check specifically what is happening in the Mayan calendar with the gap days, but I know that every month has quite a few of them. In any case, a portal is such a gap day. So it is a space where we're going in between. It's a space where we're going through what we call also a dark hole. And it seems to me significant that the gal galactic center that has a processional cycle from uh, like 200 million years or something like that is actually a black hole. And so for me, these portal days, whether it's the Mayan calendar or any any kind of portal with numbers it is about going through a black hole and i feel sometimes we are missing the opportunity if you understand what i'm saying sometimes we try to escape we prefer an illusion and delusion and we don't really want to go there regardless of us wanting to go there or not they are here anyway and I really feel that this week again is a fantastic opportunity for us to go through that portal, through that stargate, through that black hole. And what is really the meaning of that? We also have a full moon coming up on the 15th, which is in that week that I'm actually talking about. And it's, it's quite extraordinary. I... I am not an astrologer and I have a great passion for the cosmos and that of course is related to my star seed and my multidimensional self if you want to call it that way and my soul self but I am not an astrologer in the common sense so in the description I will put you the link of Heather Enthworth if you are interested to understand astrology from that perspective as it guides us. Here our awakening vibrational upgrade is about how we are receiving these energies, these vibrations and how we can embody these vibrations and I give you a light language bridge usually and it can be Pleiadian, it can be, it can be formal hut because that's my main star seat. It can be Acturian, it can be Andromedan. It just depends whatever comes through. And of course, my connection to the galactic center and all of that is also very strong. It's not really about where it comes from, but it may help you to understand that you and I are aligned in a intergalactic sense. While we are here, we are aligned to all of these soul aspects of self, if you want to call it that way, or sometimes I call it the source fractals that have chosen to experience different planets, different consciousness, different experiences. So what is important this week is really our awakening. Our awakening this week is really, really crucial. The energies are crazy for 
the lack of a better word. And so I'm inviting you into the space. On the outside world, we have a lot of turmoil. And the outside world is in a way that dark hole that we can choose to go through, that portal, that stargate, in order to truly dissolve the shadow aspects of what is happening right now. So for me, what is important at this moment is really that we go within. That's for me the vibration. The, the upgrade of your vibration is always within. This is actually the nature of it. The energies are in a way around us, supporting us to go within and to match the energies that are around us to create a frequency of a collective consciousness or a cosmic consciousness, whatever word resonates most with you. So this week is really a fabulous opportunity to go within. I know it's getting tiring, but we are actually continues to unblock, we continue to let go these old patterns, these old paradigms that have held us for a long time. And we are breaking them as I actually speak. So the vibration that we can, how we can raise our vibration to match these amazing energies that we don't even have words for because they are beyond our human intelligence and understanding. It's only through the heart that we can actually appreciate and, and understand. And so to raise and to match our vibration now with the magic that is available to us to access that, it is really important that we in a way take a leap into the stargate and black hole and portal 1111 and 11 obviously is about self realization self enlightenment the journey of self and it is a matter of going beyond the persona it's a matter of truly letting go the ego dissolving the ego Many people tell you, you can't let go the ego, but I disagree with that. You can let it, maybe you can't let it go, but you can dissolve it. And actually, in order for us to be in that new cosmic consciousness, that new collective consciousness that is unfolding, as we're going into Aquarius, on the 19th, Pluto goes into Aquarius for 20 years. And of course, we are in the Aquarian age now, so we can't really escape that transition, that transformation, that metamorphosis into homo luminous, the new human of the heart that is able to embody more light than the homo sapiens could. And we are all in this. It is just a matter of our consciousness to what extent we're allowing that in. So. In astrology, we talk about the transpersonal planets. And they are basically the evolved or the higher octave of planets that kept us more in the Homo sapien or Homo luminous. And again, if you want to go deeper, I put the link there. Heather can do it much better than me. But what is happening? These new octaves of consciousness we find in Uranus, we find in Pluto, and we, now I forgot it. No, I didn't forget it. Let me go back to my notes because I'm very... Uh, Neptune. Didn't go back to the notes, no. And Uranus really takes us into truth. And yes, truth has an S. For me, the hidden truths are very exciting because in the hidden truth, we actually find keys and codes vibrationally to, to detach, to deconstruct, and to step out of the old. And this is part of why I'm here, why I have chosen to come at this time.
And for me, that goes with sound and music, as you are aware, as well as language. Even though I'm very aware that English is a, a dual language and is very much judgmental and all of that, but it doesn't mean we cannot express ourselves from the heart and love and truth and wisdom in English or any language. It is a matter of consciousness how we choose the language to reflect and express the energy and our vibration. So it is also a lot about alignment. So this is the second big thing. So accessing that transpersonal planets that allow us to align to the truth, to the wisdom, to the justice with Uranus. And of course, Pluto takes us into another, into another interesting octave of consciousness and into sacred relationship, into coming back into the relationship with all. And Neptune helps us to cut through the illusion and actually start embodying this new self, that soul self that we truly are, and bringing together the source fractals that give us that immense and boundless access to this new consciousness that is really way beyond our comprehension. So I don't want to load you more because I feel it's sufficient. And, and let me know in the comments what is triggered, what you're feeling about all these things that we have covered for this week. And we're going into the sound bridge. So the sound bridge is not just going into the portal of the 1111. The sound bridge is about going through that stargate that allows us to align to the soul self, to the source fractals that we are, to the divine, whatever name you choose to give it, it's an alignment that we are looking for so that we can be the keys to this new collective consciousness that we are creating here. We are not here to give energy or give our power away, Pluto, but we are here to embody our power, to empower self and others in community. So this is a very fabulous time. And so let's bring in the light language bridge, taking you through this portal of 11 and 11. And as I said, into the star gate and into unlocking the mysteries and the truth and the wisdom that gives us the power to align to who we truly are as that soul self. Tokani 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 Ameya Naya Tokani Nanarea ho na me carora me carora me cane Aramena honane konara ua ua.
so just enjoy and of course let me know in the comments how you're all going with this yes we are full power into this we have a beautiful mystic heart circle that is by donation you can join every fortnight i will put the link also in the description so if you would like to join you can and this is about coming together so that we support each other in aligning self to source and divine and then being like keys to unlock that new collective consciousness that is already here and the second thing i want to alert you to i am currently speaking to some amazing people as we are launching our awakening essentials so really the awakening aquarian maverick is loose and it's not only me and anna cecilia it's also you and so we have this amazing course it's going to be very private and intimate the first people are going to start very soon but by the nature of it we run possibly two or three kind of simultaneously not exactly at the same time but yes and so if that is calling you i also put the link into the description and please feel free just to connect and we'll have a chat and see if this could be for you so enjoy this week don't be afraid we can do this we have chosen to come here all this all this time to be here and be in this together and make that transition to the new human of the heart homo luminous so happy you are here with us much love from my heart to yours